So let me just show you how to run the app first, and and then we can kind of go through what, how to get started running it. So again, this kind of makes. Um, so this assumes that you have this VS Code extension um, running, um, and on a Mac, there's been some um, there's been some problems with the latest VS Code extension um, with the IBM Blockchain Platform extension. So I have downgraded to um, version 1.39. So what you would do is you go into um, to down to downgrade. You would go into your applications. Um, and you'd uh, delete the old one in your applications. Um, I I deleted mine. Uh, some people say you don't have to delete it, but you need to make sure that it has version 1.39 in here and it's in your applications directory before um, everything works. So anyways, um, once you actually have this, you download this VS Code 1.39, everything should work. You should have the latest extension. You can click to start the Fabric environment. And while that's happening, I'll uh, go ahead and create uh, make directory YouTube uh, demo happens. So again, I'll I'll click to start it. Um, but while that's happening, I'll do a git clone, and all the instructions are here. Um, clone the repo. So here's the repo. Once we do that, we'll start the Fiber time. We're doing that now. Um, now. Next, we want to install and instantiate the contract. So one thing we have to do is actually import it. Um, and to do that, we can go up here into our code and view the command palette. And then we can do um, import a package. And we can browse. Um, and we can go to that place, uh, work directory YouTube demo, where I just created this uh, demo. And in here we have this, um, so we want to import it. We import the smart contract package, and then as it's starting, we can do install and instantiate next. So we'll give it a second. Okay, um, again, so we've just ex imported the package. Now it should be in our um, VS Code extension, so we can click on install for smart contracts. And our package is called Gen Supply Chain. Um, we can see that we've since it has successfully installed it on the peer. Next, we're going to instantiate it. We'll click here for instantiate, and we'll click here, and then we'll just say we don't need to call any functions. We don't need private data. I'll have a different video for private data, and then I'll just do the default endorsement policy. It should take a couple uh, couple minutes. So we've instantiated the contract. Now let's go ahead and. Um, in the next step, we want to export the connection details. So this is really important. This is where most people I see tripped, uh, get tripped up in step four and five when I see issues on, on these repos. And and this is definitely the trickiest part for me too. I always get um, some sort of error or I mess something up here. Um, but what we first have to do is connect to the gateway. That's really important. And to connect to the gateway, we first have to true click on this um, local fabric one and choose an identity. So we want to be the admin. Um, so now we're connected to the gateway. We're in the gateway and we see the channel and we've seen that we've instantiated the smart contract on this channel. And now we see all of our functions here that I'll show you later when I demo the app. And now we can click on export connection profile and we can call it, um, if you can paste this. This is really important too. Um, you want to save this exactly as fabric under, underscore connection and we'll go into YouTube demo, um, sorry, no, it was gateway local, and then we export it here. Perfect. Next, so we've done this, we've seen that we've done this correctly, and now let's go ahead and export our local wallet. Okay, this is definitely the part where I trip up the most. So there's two wallets here. We have the order wallet, which has the credentials for the order um, organization, and then we have the org one wallet, which has the which has the credentials for the admin for the org one. So we want to export this wallet. And when we go into, and basically we want to, um, in our code, we want to make sure we're referencing this wallet so we, that we can, we can create new users with these admin credentials so that all these new users are under org one. So in our YouTube demo, we we can go ahead and I need, I need to remember to talk slower because people are saying I talk too fast and when I get excited and nervous, I do talk really fast. So I'm gonna slow down. Take a deep breath. 
everything will be fine. Okay, good now. Um, so I'm gonna talk a little bit slower. And here we're gonna go back into our gateway and we're doing a local you can also connect to ibm blockchain platform but in our configuration this is where we actually show where our wallet is and we're showing that we want to export it to gateway local and then we want to call it gen local wallet so i'm going to copy this and you can see the con connection profile same thing that's why i named it fabric connection it's because a lot of our um, files that are submitting submitting transactions to our nodes or using this connection a config file um, to actually submit transactions to these uh, docker containers that are hosted on my machine that VS Code actually creates for us in, in, in the under the hood. So again, um, go back here, I'll export this wallet. This is the step that everyone messes up on. I mess up on this step all the time. And then go to YouTube demo, fiber control, again, gateway, and local and then we can save this wallet as gen local wallet so I think I'm gonna exit out of here sometimes this happens so this is good for you guys to see sometimes it doesn't show up right away so I'm gonna exit out of code come back in <clears throat> go back into my work directory and now that wallet should be there yeah see it's there I don't know why sometimes the import doesn't work. This happened to me at a conference, and that was the worst. It was literally, it just, the wallet didn't appear there, and I'm like, ah, here are the credentials. And then everyone's like, what, what, what are you talking about? And, you know, it was very embarrassing. But anyways, everything is going to be okay. Um, so here's my admin credential. Um, here's a certificate, the private and the public key. And... Yeah, now, now we should be more or less good to go. Like, and now we can build and run the app. So um, I'm going to get back into my terminal and go to YouTube demo. I'll do um, npm install. And, I'll, and then app, npm install. OK, um, so we've done all that. And then we can do a node server. Okay, so that's good. Um, we found the wallet path correctly. We can see that the local platform, we got the user, the user type is admin. At this point, you can get a lot of errors if your wallet path is incorrectly exported or you accidentally exported the order or wallet or whatever other error you may run into. This is where you're, you'll see the error. So I've been stuck on this part for a, for a while. So, and um, we're pretty much ready to go. Um, at this point, we have some te test scripts that Anne wrote that, and she wrote most of this application, um, pretty much all of it, and her other coworkers too. Um, but basically we have these test cases here um, and we can run these two scripts to actually do that, but I'll show you the actual uh, test scenario manually using the client. So um, so we're connected to server side. Let's go ahead and do ng serve. Cool. Um, so now this should work. Um, now we can log in as admin. Admin PW is the password. If we log in, um, we can see the user.